to my channel. So this is another weekly reading vlog. I seem to just be constantly filming vlogs but honestly I love it and if you guys like seeing them then I'll keep making them. So I'm going to try to not ramble as much in this video. So I'm going to show you what I plan on reading for the week. Today is Tuesday by the way. Um, I seem to always now be starting my vlogs on a Tuesday which I never used to do but yesterday was a 24 hour readathon so go check out that vlog. I hope it will be up before this one but we never know. I have a lot of vlogs filmed that I need to upload. So yeah, we're going to go with that. I'm going to show you what I'm currently reading, what my reading plans are for the week. And I am actually, I think I'm getting some book mail today. Not 100% certain, but I think I am. So that's great. So the book that I am currently reading is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This is book one in the Lunar Chronicles. So many people's favourite series and I really, really do want to love it and I really want to get into it. I'm currently on chapter eight, I believe, which is like 70 pages in. And so far I have a little bit mixed reviews, as you can probably see from my last vlog because I was reading this during the 24 hour readathon. I don't know how I feel about the plague aspect, I think it just hits a little bit close to home at the minute because it's just like the pandemic and reading about a plague that nobody recovers from and it's it's just a little bit stressful. Plus it's sci-fi and I don't know how I feel about sci-fi but I'm being a little bit close-minded because I actually could like it so I'm gonna hopefully read this. It's a pretty fast read I feel like so I'm gonna try to finish it either today or tomorrow. Actually that's a bit ambitious but yeah um, I read a lot of books last week so I'm just gonna dial it down a little bit. I do manage to finish that book. It's a possibility that I'm gonna move on to A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. This is book three and the final book in the Akatar series apart from the novella which I've also got and lots of people told me not to read but I'm still gonna read it because I love these characters. Um, but yes, this is like a big, big, big book and I've taken a little break because I finished Akatar like last... Oh, it was only last Thursday. Gosh, it feels a little bit longer than that. But anyways, Akamath, I mean, I could have missed. Here are the two books that are on my TBR for the week. I don't know if I'm gonna read any of them. If I'm not, I am getting some new books in the mail today, I think. And also, I think we're going into town today because we need to get batteries. It's the most mundane of tasks to go get batteries, but the shop that we're getting them in also has a pretty big stationary aisle. So I think I might be going in. This is the first building I've been in in the past four months. And I know I keep saying that in all my vlogs, like the first place I've been, first journey, but this is, these vlogs are also for me to look back on in like time and this, like this time in history will go down in history and it's going to be really interesting to see what we did and everything and I'm, like I know I didn't do anything interesting but it's going to be fun for me to look back on and be like, oh shit, I remember that when I got to go to Mr. Price for the first time. So I'm really excited and I hope I get to go in. Um, I don't know, like there's nothing I need to buy but I mean if I see like any cute like washi tapes or notebooks or something, I'm a sucker for a notebook. So I might get those and we shall see. But yes, I'm gonna stop talking right now and get back to you if I get any book mail, which should be coming. Hey guys, so the postman just arrived and I got some book mail. Um, I'm gonna show you the ones I ordered because I ordered three, but I also got a gift and it's part of a book wish list thing that I'm doing um, like a book exchange. So this was the first one that I received and I'm so excited and it's from Hannah Claire Reads. And if you do not subscribe to Hannah's channel, I mean, what are you doing with your life? Because she is the sweetest person and the sweetest videos. And honestly, I just love her to bits. So I'm gonna show you the book that she gave me. And she says that she also has a copy. So we're definitely gonna do a buddy read. Hannah, if you're watching this, buddy read like whenever. I'm beyond excited for this book. The book is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. Cavallaro, I don't know. And she said, I hope you enjoy this. I have a copy too. If you want to do a buddy read, Hannah dear. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I've wanted this book for I cannot even tell you how long. And I've come so close to ordering it so many times and I'm so excited. I've heard, this is like a Sherlock Holmes retelling, but it's like his great, great granddaughter and Watson's great, great grandson or something like that. And they have to solve crimes. I don't even know but I'm just so excited and I cannot wait and this is a trilogy this is a trilogy so if I like this book I will definitely be ordering the next two so I'm going to show you the books that I ordered for myself I ordered I ordered these from Easton's which is an Irish owned bookstore I think they ship international so if you want to support a bookstore go for it um and it is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart this is like some sort of dystopia novel where when girls turn a certain age they have a grace year, um, which is like, 
I don't know, but there's a rebellious younger sister and we love a rebellious main character, so I'm really excited. Plus it's quite small and there is a sequel to this. That is why like I'm so afraid to place a big order on Amazon just in case like there's a first book in a series and then I have no money left for the rest in the series. So yes, and then the next one I ordered is Jelly by Claire Reese. I actually haven't heard anything about this book, but it looked so, so interesting when I did this. These are the books that I ordered on my Instagram Live, by the way, so if you were watching that, they're here. Um, so Martha and her friends have been drifting on a giant killer jellyfish since sea levels rose and the world ended. Life is gloopy, toxic, and full of tentacles. It's also really boring. More than anything, Martha wants to escape, but what's waiting for her unsure? Okay, hold on. I'm pretty sure that when I read the description of this book, it said that there was like a group of teenagers had a secret that none of them could talk about and the world was a jellyfish, but I thought that was a metaphor. Turns out they're actually on a freaking jellyfish. So that's okay. That's okay. It sounds pretty interesting. It's less than 300 pages. So this will be perfect for like a readathon or something. We're going to get that. And then the last one I bought is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. Um, I really like this copy because it's like though it's a paperback but it's like one of those paperbacks that has the flappy covers. Hey guys it's me it's now 2 30 in the afternoon and I've got a little haul for you. As I said earlier we went into town we needed to go to this shop it's called Mr Price so if any of you know it I don't know if it's an international store but anyways they sell pretty much everything it's like branded discounts and my mum had to go in for some things that we needed but while she was there I said well why don't I come in and just browse because I knew I had an amazing stationery aisle so I was like bitch you know what I'm gonna do because I didn't want to delay because like obviously there's a big queue outside I'm not gonna be like browsing for hours anyways I'm sitting on my floor and I'm gonna show you what I bought okay this is an awful angle and I realize I've never actually like filmed you on this side so you probably haven't seen this but first off I got a caramel latte and a vanilla latte I actually am almost finished my box of these and they're freaking amazing and this is a limited edition so you knew you know i had to try it oh duct tape little notebook i thought it would be really cute for like i don't know really it's tiny but it's like i don't like the cover that much but it's still cute i got this washi tape um it's like green it was like 90 cent so that's why i got it uh then i thought these were really cute they're like two notebooks and they're kind of like, um, if you can see, I don't know what that type of cover is called, but that type of cover. These are like 40 cent. This is a notebook that um, you can scan your notes on. So I'm sure you could do that with all paper, but they have like particular scanny notes. So I thought that'd be super cute, even for like the new school year, even if I don't use it for book things. And then I got just it's not that exciting but this big refill pad it's like one of the chunky ones because I'm always running out of like pages just like random pages to use thought that was cute then we've got catching fire on dvd um I know dvds are super outdated but I love dvds I rented the first one on google movies I thought it might be nice to have this because this was like literally 150 for a dvd that you can keep whereas like to rent it it's like three and you only get like two days these like colored pens are like a pack of 10 and then these two little ink joy pens and i don't know if it's just me and if quarantine has got me crazy but the cashier people were super cute and of course of course i got served by the perfect one is on another note i haven't read anything today but i just got the audiobook for cinder because i'm feeling like i might just fly through it and i really do want to fly through some books and also i just got approved on netgalley for the tea dragons tapestry i read the tea dragons society or festival i don't know where this book is in the series but they're super wholesome graphic novels about like tea dragons and my only way of reading them is NetGalley because they're freakishly expensive, like so expensive that it's just honestly like not okay. But they're worth it because they're beautiful. I'm just a broke bitch. But yeah, I'm going to read that tonight and the audiobook of Cinder I'm going to try and get through. I'm also going to be buddy reading A Court of Wings and Ruin with my friend Amelia. Um, we found each other through book talk and are now Snapchat friends. So yeah, that's what hey I'm going to be doing. It is Thursday right now and I have literally filmed nothing all week because I haven't really been reading. Um, we're kind of in the middle of a heat wave, which I love because I do like the hot weather, but I have such bad allergies. Like it's crazy how bad my allergies are. 
So for the most part, I am staying inside. Um, I have been reading, if I've been reading at all, it's been Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I really like it when I'm reading it, but I just have zero motivation to pick it up, like, at all. What I'm going to do now is, because I have some time to myself, I'm going to try to make a whipped coffee, but I'm going to use almond milk because we have one open that I need to use. So I'm going to see if it, like, alters the taste or if it makes it nicer. Um... But actually saying that, I don't think I can use our mixer. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold up. Okay, so okay. I made a whipped coffee. I made it differently this time, and I'm not sure if I like it. It's a bit too strong. I can hear my heartbeat already. It tastes like caramel, which is weird. I think it's the almond milk. It's nice. I like it. But anyways. So, I'm going to give a quick little update on what my thoughts are for Cinder. I know you can probably hear the lofi music in the background, but we're just going to deal with that. I'm currently on page 143, and my goal for today is to get to page 187, which is like part three or book three or whatever you want to call it. Like I said, when I'm actually reading this, I read through it super fast, and I am enjoying it, but I just have no motivation to pick it up, which is weird. But I do want to finish it because I am liking it, and I do know that it's going to get better. However, I will say one thing, that they put in a big hint in here. I don't know if it's a hint, but if it is, I practically, I, I know what's going to happen. And I know the direction that this book is going to take. And it's probably going to be like a big plot twist. But like, I already know what it's going to be. And I don't know how I feel about that. I, I could be wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong. Okay, so I hit 150 followers on my book talk today and I'm so excited. So check that out. But if you like know me in real life, please don't because it's, it's, it's cringy. But anyways, um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm on chapter 17 right now. T chapter 21 is my next stopping point. So I'm going to read until chapter 21. And when I reach that, I think I'm going to pick up Clockwork Prince because I'm in a mood for my emotions to be destroyed and for to fall in love with more characters and I'm really intrigued because in book one I was very much team Will because Jem was more introduced as a friend character but I know there is a lot of like controversy some people are team Will some people are team Jem so I'm interested because this is Jem on the cover so I'm interested to see do my views change in this book or whatever also I did get three bookmarks delivered today so I will show you those they are from the Etsy shop called my little book world so definitely go check that out also are we are we digging the red lip yeah okay so I'm gonna flip the camera so that you can this see one is until the very end Rowan and that's by Sarah J Mass and then on the back it just says Queen of Tarasen and their their logo so that is it um my little book world super cool and then we've just got this plain like i think it's hogwarts yeah because it says hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry on the back um harry potter was written by daniel radcliffe if any of you guys were interested in that so it's super pretty and then this one is the dream chooses the dreamer and that's a quote from strange the dreamer by Lainey taylor and on the back we just have a moth so they are super pretty i need to pick a book a bookmark that fits the vibe of this book because i love matching like bookmarks so this one i have good friends are like stars you don't always see them but you know they are there this is given to me by shannon from wildflower books because she gave that to me at christmas with a gift I'm so excited. Whereas this book I had again and again perused with delight and it's a quote from Jane Eyre and this is just such a pretty bookmark. Did I show you these? Um anyways like we just have these little quotes and I think they're so pretty like can we just appreciate them? I know I'm going a little fast but like if you want me to send you a picture of them on Instagram I will but like I love them I so that much. prediction that I said I had earlier it was right I was right um yeah I'm really liking it I'm on chapter 20 so I've got one more chapter I'm actually kind of really really digging this book you know I'm really liking it I think it's just because I'm so distracted with TikTok that I haven't been reading as much but like this is a really good book and once I finish it I may even order the next ones and this, this is an awful angle but today is Friday I am just reading Cinder and I made myself a coffee still really liking this and I'm getting a little bit more into it but it's really difficult to find the next books in the series like they don't have them on Amazon I'm gonna check a couple of my local bookstores I'm uploading a video that has just been a nightmare to upload and I'm watching some booktube it's really hot today but I'm not going outside because allergies It's 
it's me, it is Saturday night and it's about 11.30 and my room is set up like all cozy, this is like my reading setup, my favourite time, but it's like the time where I retain the least book knowledge, reading, what is words, I don't know. Um, I picked up Clockwork Prince today because I finished Cinder, which you will see in my bookish day in the life, um, but yes, I'm so excited. Um, to get into this, I'm currently on page 41 and it's just already so good. The banter in here, the characters, there's my cat like washing her leg behind me. But like, I'm with my candles and candles just make me so happy. Anyways, the reason I came on here is because I'm about to just get into my pyjamas and everything and I thought I looked super like college aesthetic type what is wrong with my voice? I don't know. But I also just wanted to say that I hit 300 subscribers today and I'm so so grateful for every single one of you that subscribe, that watch my videos. I'm just so grateful for every single one of you and I love you all to pieces. And those of you who take time out of your day to comment on my videos and text me about my videos and text me just in general, it just makes my heart so incredibly happy. So I love you all so much. Um, I don't know if I'm going to read anything more, I'm probably just going to take off my makeup, get into my jammies, and maybe watch some booktube, I don't know. I might finish this chapter that I'm reading and then get into my book, in my book, into my booktube. Yeah. Anyways, it's late, good night, I'll hey see you guys, tomorrow. and happy Sunday, good morning, good afternoon I guess. I slept in this morning, which I almost never do anymore, which I'm really shocked about, like I really thought that I would use this quarantine to sleep in all the time. But I'm not, like, usually I wake up around, like, 8 or 9 at the latest, but today I woke up at, like, 11, which, you know, it's okay. I had a pretty productive morning anyways, so I'm just about to do my makeup, and I'm gonna listen to an audiobook while I do it. I'm very much conflicted over whether to read the Six of Crows audiobook, because Six of Crows is a book that I've always wanted to love and always wanted to read, but I haven't because I've DNF'd it like twice because I just cannot get into it. It's the writing style just puts me off and like there's no like flexibility in the paperback. So it's literally like the small, do you know what? That doesn't even make sense, but it makes sense to me. So I have the audiobook on Audible and I might pick that up to listen to. I will at some stage, but like, I don't know when, but I also might listen to All Boys Aren't Blue, which I have on Libro FM amazing amazing audiobook platform by the way they support indie bookstores and stuff it's really amazing and i've got um i'm an influencer or affiliate no affiliate means you're getting paid i'm not getting paid but like i get advanced listing copies every single month and i get to listen to those so i'm really excited so i might listen to that because it's i've actually only got like two hours left so I'm gonna actually listen to that and it's the pride parade today happy pride everyone I love everybody and support everybody and yes I hope you all feel like welcome and proud and everything all the time but especially this week this day whatever so there is the pride parade on tv today because obviously with covid we're not going out to march or anything um and I don't know what the pride parade is going to be like on tv but I'm going to give it a chance because you know what? It's fun. So I'm going to do my makeup and yeah, listen to my audiobook while hey I do guys. that. Um, it is now 4.30 on Sunday. Um, I'm filming this on my iPad, so if the quality is a little bit worse or a bit different, that is why. But um, I just wanted to come on, I think, to end the vlog, but like, we'll see. Um, our electricity just went. I don't know if I said that already, so I'm trying to save my phone battery because... I, I didn't know that the electricity was going to go, so I didn't know, I didn't have time to charge it. So yeah, I am just going to vibe right now because I was literally just talking about autumn and cosy reads and cosy drinks and everything. So I'm probably going to read more of Clockwork Prince today or pick up another book as well. I'm not really sure. I was listening to the audiobook of All Boys Aren't Blue before um, the electricity went because our Wi-Fi has gone a little bit as well. So right now I'm probably going to redo my nails because that's a fun little activity and I will talk to you again very very soon. If this is the last of the vlog thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. If it's not then you, there will be more clips after this but I don't also, know. I'm kind of feeling this makeup today like I know I'm not looking in the, um, the viewfinder right now but 
Hey guys, okay, I literally have the electricity still not back and I'm trying to preserve my um, phone battery as I said because I cannot find my power bank and I know I have one somewhere but I do not know where it is. So I'm just going to talk to you about my reading plans for the rest of today I guess and I'm also watching Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on like downloaded of course. Anytime that I mention Harry Potter just please know that I do not support JK Rowling at all she is completely excluded and i'm definitely not promoting harry potter but at the same time it's a huge part of my life and you know like they make me feel at home but anyways that is besides the point um there is only two books two books two books left on my original june tbr so oh i did my nails by the way they're a bit messy but it's fine um, so that is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, which is the one that I'm currently reading. I'm like 40 pages in. And the other one is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, which is kind of like Harry Potter. So I might even start reading this right now because it kind of, it strikes me as it's going to be like humorous. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But anyways, I'm going to do that and keep watching Harry Potter and I will talk to you again very very soon thank you so much for watching this vlog hey guys okay wow i look rough i look real rough but it is about midnight and i started reading um no exit by taylor adams on kindle <laughs> first of all let me just put this out here i've never read a thriller before i've never i've started some and i've gotten really wimpy and stopped reading them but oh Oh my god, I'm on like, I'm almost on page 100 and there's 279 pages, so I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it tonight. But what a fucking book, oh my god, it is so amazing, so gripping, it, a plot twist just happened and I'm so there for it, oh my god, this is amazing. 